Hi, my name's Gavin Krasiska and I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. Here's a chance. Gavin Krasiska, lovely bounce. Open goal, right through the middle. And due to the pressure. Krasiska, an open goal. Gavin Krasiska's I reflect on my childhood basically of, uh, of being really uncomfortable, uh, being discontent, uh, being restless as a, as a young kid before I picked up a drink and a drug and you know, I picked up uh, cannabis as a 16 year old and started binge drinking as a 16 year old and uh, my cannabis use started through uh, older guys, older peers that I was uh, playing under 19 footy with at that stage and um, you know they were using dope on the weekend and, and drinking and so forth and I was all for the drinking and then started uh, smoking cannabis and uh, for me it wasn't just a weekend social thing, uh, went to a daily thing straight away. I had another eight years of footy where I was, my, I really, I look at my football career as basically controlling my addiction uh, because I wasn't, if I wasn't playing footy at that stage, I guarantee I'd be on the streets. I probably, probably would have been homeless and I would have been using a lot harder drugs than what I was at that stage. Managed to get through a footy career that was reasonably successful. 246 games, premiership, you know, I was in the top three of, of the Copeland Trophy, you know, five times. So I was able to manage and function with this addiction. You know, on retirement, yes, I was touted as one of the next senior coaches in the making. Uh, was that something I wanted? Okay, was what the expectations were. Yes, okay, well let's go into it and see where we go. But I was incapable of looking after myself, let alone 40 players and 60 staff. So uh, when people mentioned that to me, it just really stressed me out. And I thought, you know, who are you seeing? Because that certainly wasn't the person I was seeing. And that's what it was for me. You know, I'd use speed during the day. I'd smoke dope at night out in, the, out in the garage so I could just calm myself a little bit so that I could go to bed at three or four in the morning. I'd lay in bed for three hours, look at the sky. I'd have a shirt on my eyes because my eyes were just flickering couldn't sleep, sitting there basically wondering what the hell am I doing? I had all the opportunity in the world, I had no ambition, everyone thought of me differently than what I thought of myself and I couldn't, couldn't function. So thankfully my wife finally had enough of the behaviours, so she saw the behaviours, didn't see the using but saw the odd behaviours. So she organised behind my back basically an unstructured type intervention where she would get me into Malvern Private Hospital to start a, a recovery process. She didn't know what was going on. My wife was so close to having a nervous breakdown it wasn't funny because she didn't know. I sat in a room of 25 people who suffered from alcohol or drug addiction, whether it was heroin, ice, eckies, dope, grog, whatever it was, it doesn't matter, they were suffering from addiction and when they spoke, they were talking about me. They were talking about my behaviours, they were talking about me did the treatment for three months and then slowly built the relationship back with my wife. Thank God she stayed with me because now she's had the opportunity to be able to see me for who I am, the real person and the best Gavin Krasiska there is.